in this video i am going to show you how to recover our lost server key pair uh, so we have a seven method so first one we can use a recovery server then we can recover our ssh keys and second method so we can uh, have a s easy to send ssh public key method so that is a feature is giving aws suppose if you have a cla connection then you can do that okay camela interface we need to install camela interface for that so third method so uh, we can connect through ss session manager like uh, so we'll be have an option over the run command so we can use a utility so fourth method we have we can use session manager we already discussed earlier classes what is a session manager and how to connect our instance through session manager and fifth uh, we can connect through console directly without further integration or further uh, credential or authentication we can do that so if you have a permission to access your ec to server and uh, sixth step you can uh, create a username and password so before you lost in the key then you can connect your virtual machine so by default all the company will be have a default username and password in uh, virtual machine so then when they creating a virtual machine so they will select that image so when they opening that image or when they spin up a virtual machine from that image automatically one user will be accessed over there okay so last step so we can connect through serial console so what i'm going to do here i will create one by one video in the sense i will create a first method then uh, first method as a video so then i will create second method as a different videos okay if i'm creating entire topics in a one video it will be a very prolonged in the sense very large file and as well as it will be take care on one hour time okay so first let me discuss about recover server method so how we can recover our ssh key by using uh, recovery server so here you can see that i depicted the diagram over here i have a production server and uh, so i have a ssh private key over here i've been already stored my public key on my server okay so the scenario is i lost my ssh private key so i'm not able to access my server right now okay i don't have any password user like i cannot access my server anyway so only one method so what i can do here i can create a recovery server so this server i will create over you okay successfully created so next what i'm going to do here i will detach this ebs volume see this abs volume i will detach from my server one okay so then i will attach this ebs volume with my server two in the sense recovery server so now you can see that server two having two ebs volume so this is ebs volume one and this is ebs volume two am i right yeah so now you can see that ebs volume two in the sense this virtual machine ebs volume so we'll be have one public key and one private key so private key you can see that over here right so this key is already matched so what i can do here i can mount this ebs volume on my virtual machine 2 or recovery server then i can copy this public key from my uh, ebs 2 to ebs 1 see now you can see that so what are the public key i have on my disk 2 so the same public key i have on my disk 1 in the sense i can connect my virtual machine by the help of the same private key right so later i will detach this ebs volume from my virtual machine 2 or recovery server then i will attach to my uh, virtual machine one again so later so i will not use this key anymore because this key is already lost right so i can use my second key to access my server it will take some time but even though actually it's a good method to recover our key okay so we will learn a one a one more method like send us such public key so that is literally good but uh, the problem is we will be get only 60 seconds to access the server okay anyway let me just demystify the service and uh, so i'll do the demo over here okay so i'll go to my console first so here you can see that i have a server server name is ec2 this is my production server right okay i'll go to my key pair uh, the key pair name you can see that key i hope you understood okay i'll go to my download so if i go to download you'll be able to find the key name over here key.pum right i'll remove this key first let me remove I successfully removed so now I don't have any opportunity or I don't have any chance to access my server I can access through console connect but in some scenarios in some regions so this utility or this feature will not work okay so next what I'm gonna do here uh, I'll try to create one more server as a recovery server then I will detach EBS volume from my server one or my uh, lost server lost SSH key server then I will attach my recovery server so let me go to launch instance so i'll create an mv server or, or else i will create a uh, recovery server so i will call it as a recovery server so keeper name you can see that already it's lost 
so i cannot select this key again right so i'm going to create a new key pair for my recovery server so i'll call it as recovery okay so then change a key pair okay now you can see that i created a new key pair over here so the key pair name is recovery i'll come down so we not required any uh uh, we not require any port and all so so by default it, they will take ssh port that is enough because we only need to access our server so launch instance and this is going to create one uh, virtual machine and along with one key pair key pair al already created and the public key will be pushed to my server it's a pending state so meanwhile i'll do one thing so we need to detach this ebs volume then we need to attach to my recovery server uh, one more thing you have to make ensure see wherever your main server is existing for example my main server is prevailing on uh, you can see that ap northeast to one night right so on the same available zone you have to create on server 2 as well in the mean in the sense uh, recovery server server as well okay so now i created my recovery server on available zone 1 a and my uh, main server also available zone 1 a suppose if you're creating so as a recovery server available zone 1 b it will not work okay so now i will go to my server 1 so then i will stop then i will detach my volume so go to stop so it is stopping so just select your server 1 easy to server then come down come down you will be have an option of a storage so select your storage you can see that 613 storage I'll select the storage uh, so i'll just call it as my main server so i'll easy to okay so now you can see that it is in use uh, i will just make it as detach detach volume detach okay successfully done i'll refresh now it is available right so now i will attach this volume with my secondary server or recovery server action attach volume i will select my instance we have a two server one is a ec2 that is already stopped and second one that is a recovery so that is still is running so i will select and device name automatically they will take care no worries and i will attach volume so now you can see that i created two servers sorry two servers and uh, then i created i uh, detached this volume from my main server then i attached to my secondary server so this volume that is belongs to my recovery server let me put the same name name over here so or else will be confused uh, later okay then so now let me try to connect my server to i'll go to my virtual machine instance so i'll select my virtual machine then select your ip address copy this then open cmd command prompt so then ssh minus i then i need to specify the key name i'll go to download so this is my key name so drop and drag then ec2 minus user at the rate and public ap address end so now you can see that successfully i connected my server to our recovery server so let me see what are the list block devices i have so we can execute lsblk and it is going to print all the block devices here you can see that this is my root volume xpda if you are able to find xvda so that will be become your root volume this is my root volume and i have and i am able to access xvda as well so this is my root volume this is root volume only but server 2 sorry server 1 main server root volume okay so now what i'm going to do here i will just mount this volume if i execute df minus h you'll be able to find all the mounted file system see xvdf1 is already mounted but xvdf1 it is not mounted to mount xvdf1 you have to execute this command okay so first you have to check whether it is a file system or not so we can check minus so file minus is then dev then xvdf1 okay so you can see that it is already xfs file system then okay so now we will check uh, whether it is okay so now everything is okay i need to create a directory mount directory then i will mount this file system into that specific directory so we can go with the mkdir so i'll create a directory as storage yeah created so then i will mount okay see i'll mount my directory so we can specify mount uh, dev xvdf1 then i will mount to storage but it will throw an error so I'll show you what is the problem. So you can see that wrong, uh, wrong F first type. So the problem is if I execute ls blk id block id and I will hit enter and you can see that xvda1 block id xvdf1 block id. 
See, both are root EBS volume. So both will be have same unique universal identifier number. Okay, so that is the problem. So we cannot attach or we cannot mount two same UUID numbers, like so two uh, same UUID EBS volumes. So what I will do here, I will mount this volume. So by the help of omit argument. So mount, then minus O, then no UUID. See, I'm not going to attach no UUID. Okay, then that's what actually I will be able to mount this volume. So then I'll specify my uh, first uh, block device name, the xvdf1 okay fine then space then we have to specify the name storage this is my mount directory so let's wait successfully done i'll specify minus uh, df minus h and this is going to print uh, all the mount devices see dev xvdf1 and dev xvdf1 xvdf1 see now what i will do here i successfully mounted as you see in this picture so now i will copy this volume or this ebs public key to my server 2 okay so this we have to do so for that i will go to my virtual machine again so i'll copy the file so cp uh, minus rf uh, recursively and forcefully so then i will specify home uh, ec2 minus user then i'll go with the dot ssh directory then authorize the key okay so then we have to specify my server 2 destination right this is my source and now i have to uh, specify the destination i want to send this key storage Inside storage, I need to specify my home directory. Then EC2 minus user. Then I need to specify dot SSH. Then authorize the key. Okay, we don't need to specify authorize the key automatically. It will overwrite. Enter. Yes, successfully overwritten. Okay, so now I will detach my EBS volume. So we can go with the U mount. Okay, U mount. Then uh, we can specify RC core storage. Yeah, storage. Enter. Okay, successfully you mounted or unmounted. Okay, df minus such you can see that successfully unmounted, right? I'll go to my console again. I'll go to my EBS volume. Let's see EBS volume. Okay, so this is my uh, recovery server. I'll do one thing. I will detach the first one. Action. So we have to refresh once. We have to detach now successfully de detached so it will take some time okay it is available now uh, i will select this action attach volume i'll select my uh, stopped instance you can see that ec2 instance so then i will select svda okay this we have to select xvda so not svda xvda we have to select same as then attach volume Successfully done, I'll go to my instance, refresh, it is stopped, I'll start my main EC2 instance, start EC2 instance. So it's pending state, so once it start, then I'll try to access my server by the help of second key, in the sense recovery key. Here you can see that the actual key name is a key, but I will uh, try to access my server by the help of recovery key. Let's try, I'll copy the public IP address, I'll be get the public IP address from uh, 138, right, 138. So let me open the command prompt. Okay. So I'll try to access my server SSH minus I. Then specify the key name. I'll go to download directory. This key. Okay. Uh, then I'll specify the username. Username is easy to minus user at the right and public API address. See, I connected 138. Not connected. I'm just going to uh, do that. I'll go to easy to console. So let me check whether it is up and running. So up and running. I'll go to my command prompt again. I'll try to connect. Enter yes so you can see that successfully i connected 192 server let me check which is a 192 server yeah 192 server that is my main server and uh, 29 server that is my recovery server both server you can see over here by using same key see this is my 192 server it's a my main server and here you can see that my recovery server 29 yeah successfully we done it okay the principle is we will copy the uh, recovery key uh, public key then we will just pass to our main server uh, EBS volume that's it okay I hope you understood if you have any further doubt please let me know through comment so soon as I will reply for you thank you